John asked a question. And th the answer on this isn't probably what John wants, but I want you all to listen to this. Dan, I'm 57 in decent shape. I run 20 to 30 miles a week, which is a lot, you know, fair amount of volume for a, a, a you know, a, a runner. I mean, 20 to 30 miles a week of high quality, you could be world class. Mostly easy, zone two with some tempo work. Good job. Lift three days a week, and he does a full body split. Um, he does squats, bench press, military press, and deadlift. My issue is my weight and waistline. So you're lifting three days a week, you're running 30 miles a week, and you have a waistline issue. I instantly stop, and I turn, and I say, John, you don't have an exercise problem. You have a recovery, a sleep, or a nutrition uh, issue. Let's keep reading. My issue is with weight and waistline. I am six feet at 215 with a 40 inch waist, which is probably better than 95% of the people you know. While I'm in good health, my doctor would prefer my waist measurement to be 36, and I agree wholeheartedly. Personally, I'd like to be under 200 pounds to help my running performance. I cover a lot of miles during the week and my weight training consists of linear progression workouts. And he says, that is until I have to start over again and again, because linear periodization, I don't think ever works. Linear progression never works. I'm always starving after running and our weight training. At my age and a goal of being 20 pounds lighter, should I go hard on weight loss through diet, cardio, and maintenance weight training? Diets, diets, Let's keep, keep answering. In the past, I've always trained hard and ate until satiated. This isn't working for me anymore, but I feel like a lazy bum when I come back on my workouts. And if I diet hard, I have no energy to work out. Any advice you can give would be greatly appreciated. I think you're very close to the answer, but you'll notice on this, uh, on your answers here, not once did you say anything about your stress level. You didn't talk about sleep. Uh, I, so a couple things. I'm going to recommend to you that you at least read Easy Strength for Fat Loss, available at danjohnuniversity.com slash bookstore. And because the last thing you need is a hard diet at 30 miles of running a week. Uh, you know, how many uh, how many ends of this candle do you want to burn? I mean, you've lit in this, you're lifting, which lights one end of the candle. You're running 30 miles a week, which is, you know, another end of the candle. And now we're taking a blowtorch because you want to go on a diet. I'm going to melt down the middle part of the candle. This candle ain't going to long, last long. So the first thing, especially at your age, let me double check that age. Uh, 57. John is 57. At your age, sleep becomes uh, becomes drug-like in its impact. Um, I'd like to see you sleep nine hours a night. And guess what? First thing there, I guarantee you push back against that. Guarantee it. Nobody has time to sleep nine hours a night. Well, I figure out ways to do it. First off, and I, and I watch TV. I watch, uh, I, I have BritBox, and so I watch Perot, and I watch Agatha Christie. Uh, I love those shows. Uh, I like murder mysteries. Uh, I like uh, Only Murderers in the Building. I uh, love How I Met Your Mother. I love The Office. You know, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a lunatic. Um, I do buy them so I can watch them anytime, and I try to be, you know, kind of nudging towards bed at about 8 o'clock. Doesn't mean I go to bed at 8 o'clock, but I start to wind down like a dog, you know, spinning around before it lays down. Uh, I try to take my, my nighttime supplements early. I write my to-do list early, um, and then I wake up naturally between... Lately, it's been exactly 5.42 every time lately, but usually 5.30 to 6, I'm up because I went to bed at 9, and I am completely refreshed. Didn't hear any of that from you. Uh, as for nutrition, you know, you've got to eat. I would recommend, if possible, I would love to see you do the, the template. Uh, how you work it in, I don't know, but if you could get a good night's sleep, wake up, down some coffee and either get your lift workout in and if you're splitting the, the those four exercises that's going to be pretty easy to do and then either go for a walk or run every day after that 
And then when you get back, shower, get prettied up, and then your first meal should be heavy in protein, heavy in vegetables, and drink a lot of water. You can't, if this is your goal, you can't afford to be drinking uh, calories. Uh, I like to drink calories. Uh, my favorite liquid calories are beer and wine, uh, but they don't like me, man. Uh, make me fat and bloated and ugly. Er. So uh, one of the things I, I'd like you to think about is change your mentality about recovery, sleep, and your approach to nutrition. Um, I know this wasn't a million dollar answer, but it's true. And sometimes that isn't as sexy as, you know, a whole bunch of nonsense uh, kind of uh, linked together. Thank you. Great question. Easy strength for fat loss. DanJohnUniversity.com slash bookstore. Thank you.